What's up guys, JJ here again with another Big Muff Pie shootout. This time around it's the Green Russian Big Muff versus the Nano Base Big Muff. And according to Kit Ray's excellent Big Muff page.com, this is version 7C and this is a version 11B. So if you want to look up more information on that, go to bigmuffpage.com. Now, when I was demoing for Electroharmonics at Winter, Winter Nam 2014, I talked to Mike Matthews and told him that so many guitar players would want to see the Green Re Russian Big Muff uh, reissued. And then he didn't really say explicitly that he's never going to reissue it, but not anytime soon because there are so many new Big Muff pedals, great Big Muff pedals um, around nowadays. Uh, but when this came out, the Nano Bass Big Muff, I said, well, you know what? I want to demo this side by side with the Green Russian. And then he assured me that they actually used several Green Russian Big Muffs uh, as a reference when dialing in the tone for the Nano Bass Big Muff. So if you've never heard this guy being played with a guitar before, boy, you're in for a treat. All right, so here they are side by side. On the right, a Nano Bass Big Muff. And on the left is a vintage Green Russian Big Muff with bubble font. Um, I'm playing on a Stratocaster that's on the bridge pickup into f clean Fender Blues Junior that was miked with a Sennheiser E906. Here's that clean sound. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I've got the distortion and tone knobs set to 12 o'clock, and I've evened out the volumes of these two pedals to make them uh, sound at, the, at equal volume in order to make a fair comparison. Um, here we go. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to roll up the distortion level to 3 o'clock. And on the Nano Bass Big Muff, that is called Sustain. <laughs> Now let's put the distortion levels up full. Okay, now I'll put the tone at 3 o'clock on both pedals. Now I'll put the tones to 10 o'clock and with these types of pedals that should give me more bass end. I'm just going to push the volumes up a little bit on the pedal so to push the front end of this amplifier and let's decrease the distortion level a little bit.
Let's check volumes. Okay, so now what you're hearing is the front end of the amp being pushed a little bit, and also, of course, some distortion from the paddle. I'm switching to the neck pickup. Let's increase the distortion level just a little bit more. Oh man, I don't know about you guys, but this thing kicks some serious ass. Um, these, they sell on eBay for $300 to $500. I've been watching them for a little bit. And this retails new uh, for like $70. So I know where I'm going to put my money. Uh, this one, obviously. Um, as an added bonus, this is true bypass and it's dead quiet. This guy on the other hand, um, you know, it's worth a lot of money, uh, I think. Uh, and people pay a lot of money for it, but it's kind of noisy, you know what I'm saying. Uh, also, you have the added bonus, um, besides being true bypass, that this has a dry switch, so you can blend in the dry signal, which is great for bass players, but also if you have some dirt in the amp going on, it's nice to blend in the dry guitar, so you get this nice melange of the Big Muff fuzz and some amp overdrives for some very uh, unique fuzz tones. Um, hope you like this video. Please let me know what you think. Go to my Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash JJ Likes Guitar. Uh, please subscribe. See you next time. JJ out.